hath tormented me, and the agony of the is to be shall sustain itself in shrieks of pain, only to serve as signals of warning to those who would resent my being. O oh, come forth in the name of Abaddon and destroy ye. Back again. I wouldn't say back from the grave, but I am back. And this is not going to be a very long one. Maybe I'll try and knock it out. 35 minutes, maybe. I don't know. But we have some of our favorite frauditors acting stupid like usual. And we're even going to throw in a couple of police chases. Uh, if there's anybody out there uh, that's a carpenter, um, you might actually like this one. Um, I'm not much of a carpenter, but something tells me uh, this one frauditor, I think he's, uh, and I think he's bullshitting. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's that say? Guadalupe? Okay. Uh, let's see. We got Nevermind. Okay. Well, welcome to the show. We usually have, um, we usually don't have too many people here, but I tell you what, man, we get down to it. We do some stupid, crazy shit. So hopefully you guys had a good, uh, you know, demonic weekend. I got definitely, um, I'm definitely planning a real good Halloween show. So definitely don't miss that one. And if you want to join in, um, you can always join into the Halloween stuff. You can join into this one. I got put the link right there. So, well, we're going to get into it. I want you to take a look at this frauditor that, uh, I mean, you guys probably know who he is. Don't worry about it. Uh, I call him freaking moron, but. Now he's claiming he's some big hot shot carpenter, which I think is uh I think he's more or less a helper. Cause to do all this kind of work and then go on fraud it don't make no sense to me. What's up, everybody? Getting it together. I had three days off for rain. Then I was down a day, two days for my back. <laughs> oh, shit. Bad back. <laughs> bad back. <laughs> and all the ceiling joists in now. Replacing all of those. Got a little over half of my back rafters cut. The rest are there. Still got to cut those. And then I got to start tying all these rafters and tie ceiling joists together out here on this exterior wall and back here. A little bit of work left, but the hardest part's coming close to being done, getting the lumber up there. 22-foot LVL. I'll put hurricane ties on all my joists or my uh, rafters up there. There's going to be knee walls and rat runs going down both ways with stiff backs to stiffen all this up. So there's a catwalk up there for the renters to store things. And, uh, it all. Well, he definitely knows the lingo. Not that that really means anything because, uh, you know, a lot of those stolen Valor people, they all know the lingo too. So, but I'm sure he's probably worked on some of these crews many of times, you know. Work a couple of days, skip two weeks, work two more days, skip three weeks. You know how those people are. Also be bracing. So, yeah, once I get that back framed up, I'll put three pieces of OSB on there. And then I'll frame that ridge across and then frame my two valleys on each side. 
and the roofers can put it all back together. They still got a immediate blast that gable. I got that one blasted. It came pretty clean. It came pretty clean. So now they'll spray it with uh, Kills Primer. And that'll seal it. And then once I get the rest of this charred and uh, smoke damage shit out of the walls here, all these doorways are going to get replaced. All these window frames are going to get replaced. Hopefully we'll abate all of the uh, smoke odor by the time we're done. That's the plan. But any well, like I said, if there's any carpenters out there, please uh, chime in and let us know. I think he's just uh, a freaking helper. Anyway, I'm going home for the day, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have uh, all of this framed up tomorrow and get all that put in, start tying all these together, get them all set on layout. None of these ends are set on layout right now. None of them are on layout. <laughs> Just want to get them up there and in place, and then I'll worry about putting them on layout and fastening them in place and doing all my knee walls and stuff. Fun, fun. i got to have this done by Monday, because Tuesday the roofers are coming to roof it, deck it and roof it. And then Wednesday, we are leaving for Paris Island, South Carolina. Our son is graduating from Marine Boot Camp. We get to bring him home for 10 days, so hoorah. Congratulations to my son. I'm super proud of him. His life is just beginning. So we will see you uh, tomorrow, guys. Peace. What up, y'all? It's freaking here, doing some freaking framing. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't think I would trust that guy doing any, anything in my house. No freaking way. And uh, we got this roof just about framed up. Uh, got all the rafters in, ceiling joists in. I uh, still gotta put hurricane ties, hurricane clips on. I've got the new walls built. Uh, got to do subfacia here tomorrow. Have it ready for the roofers by Wednesday. And uh, I got to do some shimming back here. Uh, I got a string lines back there. I just want to do some shimming to make sure it's good and straight. I'll climb up there and show you what it looks like. Oh. Didn't he just say his son just graduated marine boot camp oh boy <laughs> i don't know I don't, I don't get it here we go oh so here we go he walls up and down both sides here i'm gonna double this lvl up i got some two by 12s right there i'm gonna go s split the center here split the two by 12 by 12 each way stiffen this LVL up a little bit so I can put some more uprights in for my ridge support I gotta frame that I gotta put three sheets of plywood back there on those rafters and then frame all of that in there that tire ridge in there and then put some uh, valley rafters in and uh, yeah I get that done and it'll be ready for uh, the roofers hopefully I'll have all that done tomorrow um, by my calculations, I can have it all done by tomorrow. But that might be wishful thinking too, but I'm close. I'm close. Got to put uh, all of this on layout, fasten it to the wall. Then I got to pull the wall and the truss this way about a half inch to straighten my ridge line up. Those will float back and then I can fasten them there. I hope so too. Oh man. Unless he's working under somebody else's license, and he's just a you know the gopher, which is probably what he is anyway, just a gopher. Probably gets paid under the table, you know, because of the bad back situation, you know. Now to tie it all together, and to plumb this wall here, to plumb this wall here, and we're good to go. And then I can, I can start tearing out all these burnt windows, start putting in the new windows that are back there, start replacing a bunch of this smoke damage framing in here. Uh, all of these that are two foot on center, I'm going to move and make them all 16 on center. Um, yeah, so it's getting there. Definitely a big project. So you get this done, then they can deck it, roof it. While they're doing that, I've got another job I got to go do. I got to go paint that bathroom. I, uh, when does he find time to fraud it, man? You know, for somebody. 
that's got all these big jobs. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. So, you know, well, he claims he has a remodeling company. Hmm. Well, let me take a look at something here. Because I had to go to the state website. And uh, I can't find his license anywhere. His name's not on nothing. Now, like I said, if he work, if he's working under somebody else, I guess that's fine. But whoever he's working under, boy, I tell you, they better have some good uh, workers' cop insurance, because that guy will probably claim all kinds of shit on you, man. Oh, I'm, you know, a hammer fell on my foot. You know, I want fifty million. I, mean, I don't know. So. I don't think he has a really uh, anything. I think he's just a, a gopher, maybe a handyman, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So you guys let me know if you think he's. She makes me sing, my lamb, 